Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hugo, I'm Los Angeles based DP. Um, today I want to talk about uh, Apple Studio Monitor. It's a new monitor that just released and uh, I wasn't sure if I should make a review about it. But since I consider this uh, tech uh, for myself, as I'm a filmmaker and uh, this is my full-time job, so I suppose for many other filmmakers this monitor will be an interesting uh, topic to talk about. As of right now when I'm doing this video I see there are quite a few videos on YouTube where the people talk about the monitor and their, uh, what they think about it. And again, as of right now, you can't really buy this monitor because it's still out of stock pretty much everywhere. Um, and who knows how long it's gonna take. So I decided since I'm using this monitor for two weeks already, I kind of have a understanding what this monitor is about and uh, is it good for you or not. Because for me, it turned out there are many things that I thought is going to be different than it is. So first of all, I want to talk also about my experience. So I bought this monitor online from uh, Best Buy and oh man. I will never recommend anybody buy it from a Best Buy. It's it's my last time buying anything from a Best Buy simply because, imagine the thing, I bought a monitor and uh, I bought a monitor, I, I paid the full price, uh, it was supposed to be new, and it arrives with a box uh, that it is, is already opened. And when I opened it, I saw there is no like film or nothing, you know, like uh, Apple always packing their stuff really nicely and there was nothing. Uh, everything was removed, uh, the Thunderbolt cable is missing, uh, the Thunderbolt cable, the one that is almost like 130 bucks <laughs> if, you, if, you, if, you wanna, if you wanna buy separately. And uh, the whole screen was in dust, fingerprints all over the screen, it was... I've never experienced anything like this when I buy stuff and uh, like I've, I've been buying stuff from Amazon, uh, B&H, all kind of stores, you know, never had an issue. And with Best Buy, I have when basically someone sent me a used item and uh, no one even told me about it. No one made me a discount or anything. So anyways, I cl cleaned the, the display, put it up and uh, I tried to contact the Best Buy to see if, <laughs> if they're going to make me some kind of discount. And uh, what turned out that the Best Buy has the worst customer support. Like the experience of Best Buy support was horrible. And the best thing they offered to me, uh, it was like $25 gift card, which was ridiculous considering that I paid for, uh, for the monitor uh, $1,750. That, that, that's just crazy. And what's the most irritating part of it is like, everyone was acting like it was normal, you know, like, it's a normal thing to send a used item uh, to a customer and uh, like why like they were talking to me like why why would I complain about something like this like and that's weird it wasn't only one the customer representative it was it was uh, I was I went to a Best Buy store I went to uh, I, I did the chat I did the phone call crazy I reached so many it was it was kind of a principal situation you know I wanted to see like what's the best you can do for me and no one wanted to do anything. And the thing is, uh, to replace this monitor for a new one would take more than a month, or maybe even longer than that, you know. Up until this day, they don't know the an estimated shipping date, which is kind of crazy. Anyways, just wanted to share with you that. And if, if you if you're going from going to buy it from Best Buy, don't don't buy it there. So the monitor. When it was released, I was really, really excited excited about the monitor because I always liked the way the the XDR Apple display looks. I love the design and all that and it's like it, it is beautiful display. So this shares pretty much the same design and I love the design. I love the way it looks, I love the way the stand and everything and actually I got it with this just standard uh, tilt and uh, tilt adjustable stand, the basic one absolutely fine for me the height of this uh, monitor is, is good enough I don't know never complain about it don't see a reason why would you spend $400 uh, 
on an adjustable height stand. Uh, if if you if you don't like the height of it, if it's not enough, you can put something on the top of it. And there are many accessories that uh, are sold for this specific purpose. Price. Um, I see there are a lot of uh, talking about price. Is it expensive or it's not? It is kind of pricey if you think about it. But if you think about it from the other perspective, good monitor and uh, anything about filmmaking is expensive. And considering that it's a, it's a, it's a really cool uh, monitor for creators, the price probably not an issue. Quite honestly, it wasn't an issue for me. I didn't even think it twice. I bought it right away. But there are some things I expected because there are many videos online that say um, that this monitor has an incredible image and uh, color accuracy and all that. And it's partially it's true. Looks incredible. I like the glossy uh, style. I like how bright it is. I like the sharpness of H 5K. Like, why would you complain? But what's interesting that I have bought uh, two years ago LG monitors and I bought them for $650. And what was surprising to me when I install, when I put up uh, this new Apple display and I put it side to side, I didn't see much difference. And that was really, really surprising for me in a, in, in, in a way upsetting because Basically, these monitors three times cheaper. It's LG monitor. I can put up a link on on it. They they discontinued, but they still sell some kind of alternatives, very much like that. The only difference between them is this uh, matte finish and this is glossy finish. I, and I definitely prefer glossy finish. Uh, when I was buying the, my LG monitors, I was thinking that matte finish will be more like professional, better for editing. Don't listen to this. Don't never pay extra for matte finish is horrible and I don't like this uh, the reflection of it diffused reflection from anything there in 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 the, in the room doesn't look good so anyway uh, glossy is the way to go uh, but I put up two images side to side and they don't look much different even like the brightness I mean it's a little bit brighter but it's not like crazy bright like everyone says and this rated at uh, 500 nits so that was the first uh, disappointment, I would say. Then I started working uh, with uh, color grading and stuff, video editing, and uh, turned out that I noticed, first of all, if you go into color grade, you have to turn off uh, True Tone uh, feature and all the, all the kind of smart feature adjustable because they mess up your image uh, crazy and uh, first I didn't turn it off and I was looking at the image and it looks so much far from uh, what the image should look like because I have a Flanders Scientific uh, reference monitor above that I use for color grading um, and the monitor, the Apple Studio display looks so different and Basically, when I turned it off, it kind of came close to what it's supposed to look, but it wasn't quite there. And that's another irritation of me, because I thought everyone was saying the monitor is great and looks great uh, for content creators. And everyone is talking that uh, we all work in SDR. Uh, I export an SDR and all that. But even when you work with footage and you work with log footage, by default, you, you have to work with HDR and you have to see the dynamic range and all that. Then you can export it. But um, I don't know if it's related to HDR or if it's related that this is only 8-bit 8 8-bit uh, 8 8 uh, color, color uh, panel. So the image didn't look quite like it looked on my reference monitor. The contrast wasn't there. I saw so, so much more details uh, in highlights and the shadows on my reference monitor and I didn't see that. The look overall on the, on the Apple display looked more, more contrasty, you know, like more like kind of maybe even saturated, I don't know. It just didn't look like, like it's supposed to look. And I really, really expected 
this monitor to be the one that I can close enough to be uh, to what I want to deliver, you know. And uh, I did a few tests and I I also have uh, my MacBook 16-inch uh, uh, with XDR uh, display and I also have my iPad with XDR display. And those display XDRs, they are really good. And I mean, come on. I compared this to reference monitor and they looked almost spot on, you know? They look almost identical and they, they're very close. But this monitor was really far from it. And that kind of disappointed me because I thought it's gonna be at least a little bit, in, at least like in a ballpark, you know? And for those reasons, right now I'm I'm hesitated to uh, to keep this monitor for this specific reason because I I prefer to export uh, and see see videos on the screen the way they're gonna be exported. And I exported the video and I did the test. I put it on my phone, which also has XDR display, right? And uh, most most uh, most of people use the iPhone and most likely they're going to be new ones with XDR uh, display and it looked different it, on, the, on the phone it looked exactly like it looked on the reference monitor and it looked on the, my uh, iPad and on my MacBook Pro and because of that I don't know I don't know if I should keep it for that kind of price um, but again um, besides that maybe for some people if if you if you're not a content creator and uh, maybe you just use it for like uh, any other work, it's an incredible display, honestly. Uh, like another biggest biggest thing uh, for me was the boot up time. I hate when I boot up my computer from, I'm trying to wake it up and uh, it start booting up uh, one monitor, then I boot up another monitor. And it takes about, I don't know, sometimes it takes 10, 15 seconds. It's so irritating and I was, really impressed and I actually wanted this monitor for for this specific reason because it wakes up instantly you don't have to wait for long it's like it, it takes a second and it wakes up and I thought it's going to resolve resolve my issue but because I'm using more than one monitor and I'm using other brands as well that's the issue like he the monitor wakes up but then it starts connecting other monitors and it turns off and boots it up again so you still have to go through this process when it can connects all the monitors, which kind of also pissed me off because I thought it's going to resolve the problem. So probably for what I wanted, you have to have two exact same uh, Apple Studio Display monitors, and then your boot up time going to be instant. But uh, I don't know. This was another reason I wanted to to uh, buy Apple Display so my uh, my instant wake up because I'm using. Uh, Mac, actually, it doesn't matter what you use. If it's a MacBook or Mac Pro, uh, the boot up, boot up time is going to be the same. So, and also I like uh, the I like the webcam because I don't care about the quality. As long as I can get uh, FaceTime or a Zoom call, it's fine. Speakers, speakers are great. Uh, I love the speakers. I, I didn't. I used to have like little speakers on the table, but I didn't like the cable stuff and all that. I wanted a built-in speaker in the monitor so I don't have any uh, other peripheral devices. And the sound from, from uh, that monitor camera is great. I mean, it's good enough. Uh, and they like, I don't know, I liked it. So another thing is like, if you shake the table, all of the monitors shake like crazy. And they also, really irritating when specifically when you use uh, an adjustable height desk but uh, apple Studio display is rock solid doesn't move at all that's another good thing but will it justify paying it three times more than these monitors i mean maybe i'm thinking about even maybe buying an oled tv and I see there are some expectations that uh, they're gonna and Sony and LG will release soon uh, a 43 inch uh, OLED TV, which in a way designed to be as a computer monitor, which is pretty cool. And uh, I went to my friend uh, who uses an LG um, OLED TV 
as his primary monitor. Uh, he uses 48 inch and it's quite big, you know, but I was impressed about color accuracy and the overall the way it looks. It looked incredible. And this OLED TVs, they, they, they're really impressive. And I'm thinking even maybe should I return this one and uh, wait for this the smallest OLED uh, TV to use instead because I don't know. I wasn't quite impressed about the image quality coming from this monitor. Unfortunately, I really wanted this to be the monitor um, I'd recommend. Um, well, uh, here's my thought. Um, I don't know if it was helpful for someone, but uh, it wasn't what I expected. So maybe if you're about to make this decision, should you get it or should you not? Maybe you should consider those things that I had to face. Okay, thank you for your time. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. Um, I'll see you in the next one.